brain science. Neurogenesis, neuroplasticity, these are the buzzwords of the hour. But are we at a point that we can apply these new ideas to the work that we do with our patients? First, let me introduce myself. I'm Ruth Bozinski, a licensed psychologist and president of the National Institute for the Clinical Application of Behavioral Medicine, more informally known as NICABM. The awesome power of the brain to change itself is making a huge impact on our work as health and mental health care practitioners. But what exactly are these new ideas, and how will we use them? Well, Mindsight is one of them. Mindsight is a term coined by Dr. Dan Siegel, clinical professor of psychiatry at the UCLA School of Medicine. He is the author of The Mindful Brain, Reflection and Attunement in the Cultivation of Well-Being, and most recently of Mindsight, The New Science of Personal Transformation. Listen as Dr. Dan Siegel tells us how Mindsight can change the physical structure of the brain. First, I'd like to just focus on the brain and how cultivating mind sight can change the brain's physical structure. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the exciting thing about being in the field of clinical work, you know, whether you're working directly in the psychotherapy field or even in various aspects of mental health uh, related to psychotherapy or even in the medical world, um, we're at a moment now of taking one of the most revolutionary findings from science, in particular from neuroscience, which is the study of neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity is the way we can study how the connections in the brain, the lit- literal physical synaptic connections within the substance of the brain's architecture how those connections continually change across the lifespan. And experience drives those changes by activating the firing of neurons, and then as neurons fire, they can rewire their connections to one another. That's the basic finding from neuroplasticity, and what we're now learning is that the brain doesn't stop growing after childhood or adolescence. It continues to grow throughout the entire lifespan. So whether that's from new synaptic connections or stimulating these cells called neural stem cells to differentiate and become fully um, specialized neurons or even the growth of myelin, which is basically the sheath that allows the conduction speed between neurons to be increased and even this, the resting time after a neuron fires, it has to rest. When you have myelin, you actually rest about 30 times less and your speed is about 100 times more. So basically, if you've not only added synaptic connections or grown new synapses by stimulating neurons to grow from stem cells, but also have added myelin, you've basically increased the connectivity of a circuit by 3,000 times. Mm. So when you're asking the question, how does Mindsight change the structure of the brain, um, we'll get into exactly what it means, but you can focus attention, which is basically harnessing the power of the mind to focus energy and information flow through the substance of the brain. And as you do that, you can change synaptic connections. You can likely stimulate the growth of new neurons, and you are likely developing a mindsight skill. And skill development, different from just memory, is based on myelin growth. So in all those ways, we can change the physical structure of the brain through the focus of the mind. We really are at a revolutionary moment. Neuroscience is taking us into previously unimagined pathways, giving us new applications in treating patients. 